Alright guys, we are back for a new cast of Brood War, and this is going to be replay of the week number 5, and I have a lot to complain about, but I will try to get that pass through the cast, but the map is Fighting Spirit, and spawning in the top right, we have the brown, or orange, Zerg, excuse me, Neo X is Sinbi, and spawning in the top left, we have Winner's MVP, which I believe is from the same, uh, the MVP from, uh, Minus's MVP, I believe it's the same player as they are both Terran players, and we'll see if MVP is just as strong as a player as he. Now, my complaints is number one, we're on the fighting spirit again. Come on, Hashim, let's come on, let's get honest here. And number two, I have casted replay of the week number three, four times, all with massive errors. So, let's just hope that I won't get another massive error with this cast. Uh, last cast, I forgot to add my microphone to it, so I cast the whole thing. Without my voice, so that was uh, not too good. Now for uh, not replay the week. for fighting spirit, you have plenty of space for in your main to do whatever the hell you want. You have uh, one one ramp that you can either decide to wall off or or like m most players do is they fast expand and hold this area off until they want to take it their third. Which as long as they're able to hold this off and able to kill off whatever is over here, they pretty much guarantee this third. As all they have to do is hold off this little. Uh, ramp off off here and go on the high ground and they're pretty much guaranteed their third and You know this is a very balanced map and the reason why most players fast expand is because of the size of this map is absolutely redonkulous And it is huge and look at the Zerg. He's gonna be he's gonna be 12 hatching Good stuff by him uh, You know Again, like I was saying in every other cast uh, I like to say uh, we can't. Really, I can't really tell from a, a caster's point of view or at an analytical point of view where I'm not really that adept in Brood War. Uh, I don't want to sound like I'm smarter than anyone else. I think Varial, uh, you know, of how boring. Uh, I shouldn't say that, but of how of a non-enthusiastic caster as he is, he's very, very adept, adept at learning this game or knowing this game. Much better than I do, and whatever, pretty much everything he said in our D rank games, our D uh, D rank games, he's he's just so smart. Maybe not maybe not the best caster to listen to, but definitely someone I can learn from personally. Uh, I don't really play Brood War competitively anymore, but I'm not saying I was ever good, but I don't really play competitively anymore, and uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, all I can really say at this point, Zerg went uh, hash before pool. So not no really early 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 game aggression and Terran will be putting down their expand, and at the looks of this uh, of what I know because this is what my build always was, uh, was uh, you know you do a one rack a one racks expand into bunker into factory play where you're gonna be able to siege up and really do stuff. I normally do that in TVP though. We'll see if the same principles apply to here. Uh, most likely just gonna be going mainly bio as that second rack is coming up. He will also be taking a very sneaky third in the bottom right, which is pretty interesting. Now, for other news, uh, these casts have been really, really late, uh, and I apologize for that. And, you know, the main reason, really, all I can say uh, is that I've had a pretty wacky week. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I got these weeks around Wednesday. I, I cast about four of them, or, I mean, it's one, two, and three. Uh, one, three, uh, one, two, and four, excuse me, because three always gave me a huge amount of trouble, uh, over the, uh, like, on Wednesday night, and then I got, you know, school work, etc., and I, you know, I, quite honestly, I don't cast every night, and you kind of have to be in a certain mood to cast, uh, especially if you're casting over for over two hours, uh, but that's just not my own personal preference, uh, and we hope to have a great game. I love watching Brood I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think it's just as entertaining, if not more, than StarCraft 2. A great eSport to watch in general and fun to cast. Even though I'm not the best analytical person, but maybe, hey, I'm kind of fun to laugh at, I hope. Uh, we'll be getting that uh, Armory <laughs> Academy, excuse me, in the very top left of, of uh, MVP's base. And he will be pushing out with about four lanes, just, you know, probably going to see any scouting. We'll be seeing, you know, a whole bunch of Marines, and most likely he might be doing a timing push with Marine Medic. Uh, as it looks like he's not, he's getting, he's getting gas fairly early, but no factory quite yet. So which leads me to believe he's not going to be going any. Yeah, he's going to go for a timing push most likely. Uh, but he will be pushing him with a few, uh, a lot of lings, but really won't be doing much. We'll lose a ling or two, but nothing too, too bad, and we'll be at the combat. 
to get those scans going to figure out what the hell the Zerg is doing. As Zerg tends to go a lot of map control. Zerg will also be getting fairly early or fairly standard layer tech, which means kind of fast, going for early lurker. Not going to be going for Muta first, uh, as they're, this is where the build kind of differentiates, so you'll be going down the lurker path before Muta path. If you guys do not know, most TVZs by standard metagame, or metagame meaning like standard play, most common practice to play, is m right now, and I think will continue to be, Terran will normally go bio, which normally means any kind of mixture of marine, medic, fire bat, along with a lot of science vessels. Kind of how it goes. A few tanks, not too many tanks, though. Tanks kind of makes the trend. Terran normally takes, it makes a transition into tanks uh, late, late game. Most of the time, we'll be getting up and... Uh, so they're going to be getting up three sunkins to deal with this early bio push, as he should see it coming. And these links will be able to spot it. Yeah, and those, yeah, and you'll be pushing out with that timing push. Uh, and those fire rats are going there in response to the, a huge, it, uh, like, influx or whatever, uh, or a huge production of links to happen. And it looks like he's going to be kind of pushing around here. Could be doing some damage, uh, but he should he should be well prepared for this at all. Uh, I mean, fairly, fairly well. We're going to have two lurker eggs actually over here. You got to Pretty much stop any kind of whatever is going to happen down there. We'll be stimming. We'll see if we're going to be able to do any any more damage. Uh, we'll be target firing each of the seconds. Uh, Hydra there to do a little more DPS, but not really going to be doing much with the uh, lurkers. But he will get us around on the links. Nice, nice little win for the Zerg. Uh, by no, by every means, but he's actually got to stim and engage this. I'm not sure if that's the greatest idea, as he could lose his whole army. As long as the fire rate gets a good, uh, you know. Could be done, but he will have lurkers, which will be more than enough to hold this off. And, uh. Blah, 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 blah. He actually might lose another sunken. Uh, but he's, uh. They had enough li uh, medics now to really do a lot of damage, but this uh, lurker will go off. And actually will lose it! Which I find quite surprising, but it looks like. Oh, he's still gonna go on for this pressure. And he has quite a few lurkers, but he's actually losing a lot of them. Uh, good thing he didn't lose that lurker. Uh, looks like he might be just kind of, you know, good for this right now. Looks like he might be going down here. As he noticed that there was something down here. And it looks like he's going to be reading that quite well. And while he's going to be sending these marines down, i like to note that uh, uh, the um, double factory, actually. I, ooh, triple factory. I might have been wrong by the standard. Well, this is not metagame normal. You don't normally go mech play in ZVP, but uh, <laughs> lurker eggs just stopping. Thing. And, you know, this really won't be doing much as a, as the lurkers will be able to borrow just fine. And he's actually getting plus one, which I find interesting as he's going to be doing a, a, sw a tech switching into, you know, mech. And I don't really know how effective that will be against Zerg, as I really haven't seen it. Uh, and I'll be very uh, interested to see how, f how how much damage it really will do. And yeah, this will be fine. Even getting, and you know, those lurkers are going to be doing just fine. And uh, now for Zerg, uh, they're most likely going to be going uh, early hive, which is what exactly what he's doing. Uh, but uh, they're they're going to be going, you know, uh, leading lurker um, uta play, which is most likely what he's going to be going for. Uh, but again, that's normally in response to that the standard bio play, as I've seen a lot. But we'll see how it really, really goes. It really depends on you know the dark swarms that go down, etc. But you know, uh, of what I've seen of a mech Terran army, it seems it's it seems very unstoppable half the time, especially once it gets up to the max 200, 200 supply. And we'll have to see. We're continuing to put down more factories, and we'll have to see how this goes. I should be doing another bio push behind this though, so we're kind of really kind of leaving the uh, Zerg in the dark at this point. I'm not really sure to know if he's really going to be going into that, that tech switching. We'll be stimming up. Uh, we'll be might. Wow. And wow. Wow. I feel bad for those lurkers. Kind of funny how lurkers. Alright, like, Marines are the counter to Lurker, and then Lurker's counter to Marine. That's kind of, kind of funny. Uh, and will we have a Spire coming down shortly? He will be getting a Defiler mount, and I forgot. Ling, Lurker, and Muta are the, like, the, are, like, the, the, the meat, meaty things, and then you have, obviously, the Spellcasters, which is the Defiler. And we'll have to see how this goes down. Uh, 
Vultures will be running in here, not even dying, and we we'll might we'll be able to do some uh, free drone kills out for here, which is gonna be you know not bad at all. Uh, Inspire is actually down here, which I find slightly interesting. I don't know what the whole positioning on that is, but you know wherever you can put a tech building, I guess. Uh, so these probably will actually might even take an expand over here while those drones are really there, uh, and we'll be sending up you know lurkers to clean this up with no problem. Uh, Spider Mine's putting down, just being a little more annoying. But I mean, these these are pretty much gonna be cornered and killed. Uh, pretty much just <laughs> killing him himself and Ling's are OP, I guess. Uh, according to this game, the, the the moral of this game, Ling's are OP versus Vultures, I guess. Uh, more Vultures are coming out, so now he will be doing that tech switch into you know he'll start getting that massing of tank numbers. Uh, and he's pretty much stopped all bio production and he's even gonna get getting double upgrades, which is very, very nice. I do like that very, very much as these uh I'm a very upgrade heavy person. Uh and I do know that the, oh and he will be taking that expand and he'll be getting actually the timing of that too, which is a very, very nice win for him. Uh by by all means. Uh excuse me. So I have to see this. Uh and we'll have to see what goes on in the world of uh of the Terran player in the world of Terran player, uh, you know, good stuff. Now, well, the little stuff happens in the lake in the mid game, you know, kind of everyone going through their new tech path and tech switching, whatever. Uh, I like to wow, that's kind of funny. Uh, I like to note that uh, we are doing the D rank thing still. I, I have to get more replays. Uh, I have to I have to get the ones that are from last week. I'm so far behind, and I feel so bad. But tomorrow, hopefully, I have a, I have a, I have a nice day. As I, I've done a, a, a fair a, a fair amount of school work, not too too much, but a fair amount of school work to you know say you know well I've done this that and etc. Hopefully, I can get some school work done. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I've earned it. After a day like today, I think I've earned some StarCraft casting. But even though it's like midnight right now, and I'm kind of talking pretty loud, and parents probably getting mad at me. I know the whole point of those dark swarms were actually cut. Honestly, I've been so distracted. But uh, uh, yeah, I think the tower's still going to be preoccupied off of two base, uh, and he will have a couple uh, lurkers and uh, defiler to see uh, when that timing is going to be going down. Uh, I, my personal preference is. Uh, Never have high expensive units out that you're not going to be using and you're not going to be keeping an eye on. Like this, for example. Uh, will he borrow that the file? The reason for this is if the SCV start transferring over, which it actually is, uh, he might be able to get a surprise lurker killed on him. But we'll have to see how that goes down. Uh, he might be doing this stop. Oh. oh I'm so sorry, guys. Um, but it looks like that that defile might be caught, and um, you should know what's up. More defile uh, dark swarms are going off, and the more the reason for that is that uh, instead of just wasted energy, you know, just put up a, a couple dark swarms because it's gonna die anyway. So what's the what's the point in not even doing it? Uh, but do 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 do. Uh, a couple tanks are outside the base. Uh, he will also be off of six base now. See, so he's going to be double expanding off of this, which is pretty nice. Uh, and this could do a lot of damage. Well, that's rigged as it is, because tanks have more de have have a higher range by themselves, you know, just attacking straight up than uh, even when they're... Well, that's pretty dumb. I, you know, I'm actually surprised he actually backed out of there. Uh... Actually, no, I know why, because the files are Dark Storm, and then what they can do. Uh, I like MVP's decision making. He's not really gonna, he's just kind of poking, more or less, right now. And another Dark Storm does go off, but uh, another Dark Storm does go goes off, and they'll have to be very careful not to lose a lot of this mech army, but. See, this is the problem I have with this right now. I'm gonna pause it for just a second, because, like, w there's like a tiny little gap between there that just doesn't have a dark swarm and I just find that BS quite you know just honestly but we'll have to see what goes on uh, Overlord does get sniped off uh, we'll 
do, 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 do. SCVs look like they're going to be expanding down over here. Probably double expanding, actually. Uh, tanks will siege up and will, you know, just be doing splash damage under it if you're wondering why. But if he can get off good uh, Dark Swarms, he should be okay. He will get an irradiate off one of the things as I heard it. And we'll force on sieging, actually. Oh, that lurker's on the high ground, that's right. But he will be pushing out of position of that lurker. And we'll just start shelling away at it. We'll shock cannoning it away, excuse me. That lurker will fall. Uh, but it looks like a drop might be happening over here. No, it's not dropping. Uh, and Taren will also get up his third. And he will be double expanding off of this. Also, but a lot of lanes are coming down. They might be able to do some damage. And it's actually getting a, a couple tank kills, oddly enough. As, these, as they are just, you know, target firing the Lurker as it will fall, but, you know, these, <laughs> these four Lings are just, oh. <laughs> and, wow. Lings can do a lot, lots, lots of damage. Now, in the upgrade stand for Roin, what, what does he have? He has uh, plus one carapace and much of his any melee upgrade right now. Uh, we'll have to see about that. Uh, I just have to see, wait for a Ling to come out. And you know, I was surprised he was actually able to hold that off. The file is gonna be chilling over here for a while. I actually will lose it and just gonna, you know, continue to produce more drones and another defiler. Oh man. Terran's in like every single mat, every single replay of the week, I swear to god. Uh where's the PvP? <laughs> With the PVZ, I think we actually had a PVZ this week. I'm not entirely sure. But we'll have to see. Uh, and we'll burn them. And we'll have to do nothing back. Come back. Well, that's it for tonight, guys. I'm going to bed. And, you know, you guys will see like me in like two seconds while I still re can record. But I'm going to bed now as I am too tired to continue this cast. But I'll be back in the morning. And you guys will see me in like 3, 2, 1 anyway. So, peace guys. I'll be back in like 2 seconds, I guess. Hey guys, we are back for, you know, this continuation of this cast. And I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, I, w I did actually go up a couple seconds faster than we were. We were about 15 seconds ahead of where we are. Uh, there will be meter harass going over down here. Uh, and another meter harass over here. So, we're going to be doing double prime meter harass right here. Very, very good. Very micro intensive, also, but we'll see if he gets a fair amount of drone kills. There's, there really isn't anything on the third to really defend here. There's really, nothing to defend the, the bottom left expansion here, so we'll have to see really what he can do. He does have a Marines that can step and probably kill off that army, but looks like he's a little preoccupied with everything going on as he is. Gonna be looking up a couple of Goliath here. Oh, and Radiate does go off. Gonna be really softening up all those Muta. Uh, and the Radiate may also go off on this, but we'll have Stim Marines coming over here, and this should be cleaned up. And Oh, and that's going to be devastating to the whole army. Oof. Wow, that already was very effective. Oh. There we go. Finally separate them, but <laughs> these guys have, like, no HP at all. Uh, going to be actually going for a more mass muta style at this point. I do like the tech switch. Uh, it should somewhat catch the tyrant off guard, but if it, let's see if he just trying to spawn with Nath Goliath. Uh... Looks like he's actually going to go for more tank oriented, actually. Uh, we'll have to see how this actually goes for us. Mass Muta can be pretty devastating. Uh, but however, Goliath are so good against any kind of Muta. I mean, any, any Muta really at all. Especially since you're going to upgraded Goliath versus unupgraded uh, Muta. Will he be getting upgrades? His Muta's his virus over here. Uh, plus one Carapace is coming up. And plus one, or plus... Plus... Plus two carapace and plus one attack is coming up. And we just have a spider mine over there, and looks like the Terran player doesn't really know what to do right now. He's just kind of moving his army right across the map. Uh, but as he do, as he does have two muta flocks, uh, being very very pesky, I'm gonna get just free picking on all those uh, SCVs. Uh, we'll have to see. I guess one benefit to, uh, if, if there is a benefit of not macroing hard, uh, if you lose your entire army, uh, you can still rebuild your army uh, pretty quickly. Or you're not you're not able to macro because you have a 200 200 army, so we'll have to see if he remaxes fairly shortly. Uh, which doesn't look like he, uh, uh, there we go, he's starting to put down more stuff. Uh, something's happening up here. Uh, it looks like he's just going to go for the missile turrets. 
Uh, but there are a lot of them. I don't really know which one to really target fire. Uh, I have to be pretty careful about those. And it looks like he'll be able to get some more kills off the SCVs. You know, I think this might just put the Zerg in a, a better position than he was in. And great split from there. Like instantaneous, I'm not going to lie, right there. Very, very good. And it looks like he has to wait for an, a, another Muta Flock to come out. The one problem I have with this, what he's doing right now, is he's only going Mass Muta. Which, for MVP, as he's... I mean, he's held it off. I mean, okay. I mean, it's, it's hard to micro... It's hard to kind of deal with two attacks coming at once, but... Looks like he might be going in for a second round fairly shortly. Uh, uh, he's not really going anything. He's finally tech switching to Ultra Scavenger, but I'd rather like to see that coming down much, much faster uh, behind the meter harass. But we'll see how it goes. He will be coming in from the south and the <laughs> and the north, uh, north, uh, northeast. So we'll see how, how much damage he can really do here. Missile turrets aren't up yet, but they will be completed before the meter can really do anything in there. And he will be trying to do as much damage as he can on this expand. He might even get a fair amount of SCV kills. But again, these are 1-2 Goliath, and they're going to do a lot of damage. But Muta do have their upgrades completed once again. Will he be getting more upgrades? He doesn't have them initiated at all. He's getting plus 3 Carapace right now, though. And he will get a nice Radiates, and that will come. He's not paying attention. Oh, no. That's really going to do a lot to that Muta flock. He should just be better off just, like, coming out of there right now. Uh, he's also doing some more poking damage, but there's so many Goliaths at this point. It's just ridiculous. He's kind of stopped all Vulture production also. Uh, and the, the reason, uh, like I was saying, is like, if you go Muta, it forces the, it forces the, you know, the stop, the stop production of, go, of Vultures to free up supply and go for more of a uh, Goliath tank army. And then if you're able to exploit that by going uh, laying or whatever to, you know, try to do some more damage, as there aren't, as there aren't really spider mines on the field, it could prove to be effective. But... He still has a giant mech army, and this can be pretty hard to co come, uh, hard to beat. Has a little idle tanks here, but it looks like he will be moving up fairly shortly. A lot of links. He's finally actually doing the tech switch, but it just feels broken because he's not really doing this fluid motion where he's going the muter harass on top of all this link. But again, that would be very very micro intensive. But it looks like he, he just might be kind of out of position here. Might be able to get a free expand kill. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, links have crackling, but he will also be doing more muter harass over here, which and he's even getting a couple of lurkers in the action. Now this is what he needed to do, but he's losing out quite a few uh, uh, muter actually here, which I'm very surprised by. Uh, Plague even goes off. He could even go for infested command center if he really wanted to, as he does have a queen's nest, but I wouldn't think he would do that. So we don't really see that that often. Uh, but I, lo I love the plague on <laughs> the command center. Uh, good stuff. I, I always remember using, uh, what was it? Magic, not magic, not, like, I forgot the code. It's something gathering for code and give you unlimited energy, and I would always, like, get up, like, te like 12 defilers and just be like, oh, I'm gonna plague everything, and actually at that time when I was, like, 8, I didn't even know what Dark Swarm actually did, so I was just putting down this random cloud, and I thought it was, like, oh, it's just for, like, special effect or something, <laughs> but I thought it was kind of cool, because I never actually realized what it did, but... Pretty cool stuff, nevertheless. And Ling just kind of dies due to splash damage. And I'm not sure if that lurker is actually under the Dark Storm. Actually, oh, it's not. He will have another for a, another Dark Swarm here, but we'll see if he can really do much. He's going to be target firing the Spire. Uh, thankfully, he, thankfully, he does have another Spire back in his uh, bottom right hand expansion. Uh, nice Dark Storm, and this might be able to push back the. Nope, he's going to get the Irradiates off. And we get a free tank kill here and there, but uh, ultimately the tower will be able to push up. There's also a lot of muter harass going on the on north, north, northwest, and target firing this the armory. However, there are no upgrades, and the this might be the time where he just wants to move out as he's really not getting upgrades right now. There we go. He's on. Oh, he doesn't want to sacrifice all of his muter, but ooh, that stacking's really gonna hurt him. Uh, we'll have to see if that's really doing any more damage to the surrounding muter. Uh, didn't kill anymore, but. Yeah, this spire will this this hatchery will go, will fall. Pretty sure I think as long as he just scans again, he will be putting the spire in the same position, which I don't agree with. But you know, <laughs> and yeah, and this is the problem. 
He just has so many. Uh, he's so many. He has, has so many upgraded uh, Goliath or just Goliath in general, just counter meta completely. And you know, I think this Zork is just is not hasn't done anything wrong, like in every other TV the TVP. The, the the player hasn't really done much wrong. It's just he's kind of he doesn't really come up with a method to you know kill off this mech army. It's it'd be very very hard to deal with it. I mean, wow. Even even have ultras in the mix, but without that many radiates, it doesn't even really matter as they will fall in about a minute or two. Uh, you know the Tyrants don't what they really need to do. Just keep their army alive, starve out the starve out the opponent about how they keep on sending in a 200 200 maxed army and. Pretty much how that goes. Uh, these uh, two ultras aren't dead yet. He could be using those for something. We'll be sorry about that. That's my dog kind of spazzing out, and he should have an SCV coming down somewhat shortly. He could be sending this one over. I uh, know we have all these SCVs. I uh, will have drones transferring to the third, and Mutar back in here. But uh, I don't really know why he's trying to engage that. We'll be taking the the Terran's third and the Terran. Uh, we'll have two secured bases as pretty much as he's kind of there's kind of shifting positions here somewhat, or the Zerg has kind of gotten some more map 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 control, I guess somehow with bases, even though the Terran has. And I'm just looking at this map like this map is completely almost vision completely, almost has all complete vision. Uh, You know, even like, it doesn't even matter about upgrades at this point. They just, anything he just throws at them just completely dies. So he's getting off plagues, which are very, very good as they will soften up the army at once again, which will get the Goliath of 3 HP. But he just kind of needs that, that targeting blowout. And if he goes Hydra, I mean, they're okay, but they're going to be kind of hard to get off a shot, especially since they clump up a lot. And and Siege Stakes will kind of just shell away with those. I think they can even one shot Hydra on upgraded Hydra. Uh, but he does have uh, Carapace up, and you will just deny his expand once more. And that's a lot of science vessels have like no HP on them. Uh, ooh, nice play goes off, but he's already played that, that entire army already. Uh, and we'll just get off another thing. Uh, another. <sighs> He'll get off another. Dark Swarm. Looks like a mega drop is going to be happening in the in the main. We'll have to see if this really does much. So the links aren't actually targeting buildings. Uh, good positioning of the Goliath over there, and these aren't really doing much. Uh, I like to see him just take out the supply depots because that will just, just further supply block him. And this is probably something he ha he has to do more frequently in this game, more drops. But he wants to make sure also that. It's, it's hard to decision make to where you're going to want to do these drops and where you don't. He notices the Terran's on outside his base right now, so he can get away with that. But if the Terran's like pushing up his front door, he kind of needs the units at his front door. So I have to figure out uh, if he's going to be doing more tactics like that, special tactics. And we'll be getting more gas, too. So he's almost pretty much out of gas. Which is kind of surprising where it's going to kind of just kind of really mainly uh, Ling... Uh, Ultra, I mean, with a couple, I mean, obviously you're going to need those defilers, but the defilers, ooh, a defiler in here. I'm not sure if he notices that. Uh, and a lot of links, yeah, it does have quite a bit of, uh, he has about 7k racked up, and Terran has about uh, 2k racked up, but uh, looks like this expand also will fall, as he will have a couple tanks in here, which we'll be able to siege up and pretty much deal with this. Dark storms do go off. Wow. This base will also fall, which will really be only his base that will have gas, except for this one. It's not even. He's fully saturating that. And this base 60. I am. He's two bases that really have like full optimized gas that aren't depleted yet. Very crazy game. A lot of stuff happening. Uh, a lot of science tests are coming over here, which leads me to believe that they. Oh. Oh, why aren't you? He wants to put those down. Are these all full of stuff? He wants to make sure he doesn't lose any of that. Uh, or might lose a defiler. He just wants to make sure if he can drop that out, which he does indeed. 
I don't even know what was there. Oh. Okay, he wants to drop that and, uh, defile it so he doesn't get killed. And it's just be, he's, he's being so aggressive with expands this game, it's, it's kind of awesome. Not gonna lie. More Spider-Mon going down, and... I'm surprised he hasn't really yet to expand yet. Uh, it looks like he'll be putting a CC down right about now. And Lings are gonna be like, yo, what's up, dude? We're gonna run up here, but... We'll try to get that uh, target firing on the, on the tank, which he will probably get the tank kill. Uh, as that is crackling with 3 3 crackling. Ooh, will he lose a tank? He will lose a tank, but it'll. Uh, That's always a nice little victory to kill off a tank by any means. Uh, and. Drop thing happening over here. Uh, and just gonna nom 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 away at the. Oh, there are spider mines. Doesn't look like he's gonna really do much. Oh, that's two spy. Oh! Dude. That kind of killed him off. I believe that should be shut down fairly shortly. And just kind of moving his tech buildings around just to get more map awareness. Not bad. And another big engagement happening over here. Uh, good positioning of the Zerg where the tower really won't be able to do much. He's going to be getting out from another Dark Swarm, which I don't like. And that army is pretty much falling. And just losing Overlords. And he's going to have to rebuild these, which is going to be... Oh, wow. The other thing that... Uh, the, the Zerg is not really doing, I, I think I've noticed is that he's not really pushing out with 200-200 army, which he kind of needs. But he will be doing another Mega Drop, which I do like. I think he just wants to wait for 200-200, I think it's probably the best bet. To just, make, you know, force the entire army back. It looks like he might be doing more Link Harass, which is going to be a nice little victory as the space, however the space is kind of pretty much completely mined out at this point. Tyrant has two fully operational mining bases right now. And Zerg looks like he might be getting this base up all operational running. Except there's more tanks every time they say that. I just think MVP just does not like the 12 o'clock. <laughs> like, you cannot have that under no circumstances. You cannot have that. <laughs> and, wow. Why don't you target fire this and won't be able to repair in time? And that will fall. And getting a couple more factories on the southwest most base. Mega Drop is happening. Dark Storm 2 go off. But it looks like he might get shut down just by Goliath, just general, and a lot of science houses are here. I will be getting the couple sub, sub depots, but we'll see how effective it's going to be. Oh, there's only two ultras, though. And again, we'll just deny this. You know, I have to also say that, uh, congratulate the MVP for, you know, he's not really, like, sieging up all those tanks at once and allowing a drop to happen on it or anything with all target fire each other. I mean, he's been really, really good with this, like, choosing where he really wants to put those uh, tanks going down. Very, very smart decision-making by his part. But, you know, playing on the defense for most of the time. Not really going for the for the more of the kill shot quite yet. Uh, he doesn't want to lose his entire mech armor. I'm not sure if he even has the capability of doing that right now, but he... You know, what, like just the, the amount of expands, he actually might be taking the center one to be pretty surprised by if he does take that expand. Uh, he will be finally sieging up that, and this might do a lot of damage actually, as there are a couple Dark Swarms going down, but uh, that Lurker isn't actually under that Dark Swarm right now and probably will die. Oof. Nice Plague does go off, but. Again, like a lot of these guys are already on like one HP as it is, or, or looked like it was. And you know, I'm surprised that you know the Terran player was, uh, I mean, was able to pretty much stop that. But he was actually, Zerg is actually taking this time to you know just go run into these expands over here, which might actually be able to deny mining, which would be very very nice victory. I, I'm not sure how target firing each of the individual. The links are like confused of what to attack right here. The AI isn't that smart attacking. Apparently moving SCVs. Uh, we'll have to see if he does get the kills. He should transfer these SCVs over, though. That is of quite a few SCVs. And where is the Terran? He's not really responding to this. Has the whole Zerg army is just like in here, not like doing a lot. Wow. He just wants to get that those SCV kills. That's really what he needs. But he's not really getting them. Sadly, he's just not being able to get to them. 
Uh, and yeah, they will get out of there alive. I mean, they got quite a few, but it, he really needs to t start a t start target firing that SCV line, you know, to, in order to stop SCV production. One guy on Gather right here. Uh, this is a lot of lings. It's kind of just gone to mass ling at this point. Taran has about 500 minerals racked up, and he's still the Zerg still has around 4k. We'll be just throwing all this ling army, trying to do as much damage as it can. To, even against unseaged Mac, is still you know, still pretty much getting destroyed. Gonna stop. Uh, gonna pick up a couple of reinforcements. Never a bad bad thing. He's completely oversaturated on the, on his naturals gas, but whatever. Uh, probably not paying too too close attention, and he will be taking that. Uh, sorry, this is six o'clock position. Sorry, twelve o'clock is up here. He's taking the twelve o'clock. As I said earlier, uh, let's see if we can be one here, do some damage. She might, but those ultras will have to radiate, and we'll have to back off. Uh, and we'll be doing the irradiate trick of irradiating the science vessels and everything they go over. We'll pretty much just kill them off. And wow. I mean, with all the constant aggression, I'd, I'd like to say the Zerg kind of came up on top, but I, I, he, he did economic damage, but he still hasn't had no means to really counter this this mech ball at all. I mean, he also has so many science vessels, it's just ridiculous. Uh, the only thing I could try to say is, you know, go Scourge, but it's kind of late for that. As he really doesn't, and he's going to be lifting off all of his buildings. That's just a jerk move. But we'll try to get some, some depot kills, and he doesn't really have much to really counter this per se we only have a couple science vessels that he didn't move them all away uh, but he might be able to get a snap oh and that's oh wow that guy was full of energy too will he he's never gonna get off the couple dark storms he could get off and he will actually get that done very well played by the terran player very very well played and he's back up to yeah i mean the terran's kind of been like star starved but he it's, it's going to be hard. It, it really all comes down to the decision making of the Terran player of what he's going to really want to attack, when to attack it. He wants to make sure he doesn't want to lose any of his expensive units. Uh, pretty much his entire army is just consisted of a bunch of expensive units, except for more maybe the vultures. But uh, it's very, very costly 200-200 army, and he doesn't even I, does he have a 200-200 army? He has an 87. Wow, Zerg is actually ahead in supply right now. Uh, but they're both around 90, which is kind of is ridiculous. This game's been pretty fairly s even. Uh, and just going to try to stop the... Uh, we'll be transferring some drones over here, and that should let them know that there is an expand over at the 12 o'clock position. And his main's pretty much just destroyed at this point. And he's going to have to rebuild everything back in his new main. I, I like to say... And you know, it looks like he's just gonna be bunkering down for a while, getting those minerals up, remaxing his army. Uh, he's really gonna have to do something. I think his main problem right now is getting rid of those uh, those science vessels, as they're gonna be so gas heavy. But he's gonna be too focused on getting his whole mech army back up. He's not really gonna be focusing probably too much on the science vessels, more or less. So I think this would be a great time for. Oh, that was like four drones. He really gonna have to get some a lot of scourge or hydra even to you know just try to take out those uh, the science trusses as they've pretty much been left untouched this entire game. Really no counter to them, and the AAs have been constantly picking off the defilers. I mean he has so much you know energy off those things. Oh, and just running into a whole spider mine land mine. And not, he's gotta be careless at this point. I'm surprised he doesn't even have the overlords just trying to scout. Oh. It looks like all those spider mines are cleaned up, but that just did allow that much more time for the Terran to, you know, siege up. As he wouldn't have these, probably these couple more tanks up, sieged up, but yeah, he'll be well prepared for this. Nom, 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 everything. <laughs> Dark Storm does go off, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, he will be trying to do a mega drop on here. We'll see if he can really do a lot. Ooh, and he does get the Scourge out, finally. Uh, will he get connect any of them? He does get, a, I think, a couple of two or three with that one Scourge, as they are very, very low on HP. All you really have to do is a couple have like one or two, they connect, and it looks like this should be cleaned up by the Terran player. He just gonna need more of those Scourge, I think, and then he's just gonna have to push him with a whole bunch of Dark Swarm Defilers. But he just doesn't have the gas right now. It might be a little too late to go that. He does have a quite a few, quite a bit of gas left over, uh, and there's really no 
base left besides the center one in this in the uh, six o'clock. But uh, knowing from all of our past game history with this game, uh, you know this has pretty much been left untouched completely. Uh, or you know, well, it doesn't really have much mind out by it. And every time someone expands there, it's just dead. So. You know, saying at the beginning of the cast, your third fairly easy to secure, but I guess the Zerg decided to not take his third. Well, I should say that because th their thirds would be this one and this one. But this Terran really never expanded there. And he just has a whole bunch of lings 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A. And we'll have to see if this does anything. He's even doing a tight wall off. I believe that's a tight wall off where the lings can only come in one by one. And we'll be looking for expands, but there's still not going to be much left here. Only that really only effective for our gas base, but we'll have to see. I think the best bet is for him to take the double. He's actually mining. Come on, put down a hatchery, please. Uh, we'll be doing a semi drop, but not really going to be doing much. And we'll have to see. Put down a hatchery, put down a hatchery, put down a hatchery. That's all I want to see. That's all I want to see. Uh, uh, my little boy. Ideas or I don't know, but uh, both players, you know, just kind of I guess not growing at this point. They're not really really doing much. Uh, just did a couple of little skirmishes, doing a little drops here and there. We'll have to see if Zerg will actually be able to break this. I don't think he will. The amount of tanks and I think this might be a last push. Actually, no, he should have enough to reinforce this. But just look at the amount of. The amount of science that he has, the amount of energy he has, he could defense make just his entire army and still be fine. And we'll have to see. He's long distance mining too. And that's why he doesn't have enough minerals to support a hatchery. Uh, well, he is, he is saturating the space right here, no gas on it right now. He could, uh, does he have any spare drones? He does have a couple, uh... But, you know, going from more of an aggressive standpoint here. <coughs> and, I mean, if, in, the, in this scenario, I think you just is your, your best bet is just to look around the map and say, hey, do I have any other units that I can use here? Because he's got to really need those. Once as much freed up supply as he can, he wants to give Tavs on all of his uh, army two links. I mean, that's, st that's still one supply right there, another half supply right there. Uh, but it looks like... Uh, oh, and that's going to devastate the income. Of what little income the Zerg did have. Uh, this is a problem because it's you can't really defend this middle expansion. And if he can if he finds this uh, northmost expand, oh this is gonna be game over most likely. We'll be running into a whole bunch of sunken colonies though, and that's gonna make him lose a couple vultures. It looks like another mega drop might be happening. He does have a couple of scourge. We'll try to connect, we'll get another uh, science vessel kill. And he's not really spreading out his uh, units very, very well. Uh, but wow. I think the Zerg is throwing at him. It's really not working. And yeah, wow. Terran's just able to hold it off. Terran can beat and well played, well played by the uh, Zerg player. Woo, that was a two day cast for you guys. That was a 42 minute or 43 minute game. I'm not even sure if this will actually upload to YouTube the correct way, but we'll hope to see it will. Uh, I had fun, guys. What did you guys think of the cast? I think it was tons of fun. And, you know, let's hope for another great cast and replay the week number three, as I've yet to really cast that for the fifth time, but we got it. I know that game inside out, so we should be able to have a great cast for that. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and thanks for watching the replay of the week for between the 16th and the 25th, I think. Or, no, to, like... The 25th to the 3rd of March, I think, is what the week was. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side now. Just fits us out of here. Peace, guys.